Hi guys, welcome into K-Pot, uh, the new place in Strongsville, Ohio. It's attached to the South Park Mall. What it is is a Korean barbecue and hot pot place. What you're seeing right now is Wes working on his hot pot, which is a soup base, which was mushroom, and he picked ramen noodles and shrimp dumpling for his. Mine was a mushroom base. Uh, I also had shrimp dumplings and the crab meat and extra mushrooms. Uh, what you do is they bring out your soup base and you add your stuff into it as you go and cook it yourself. Um, they put the soup base on a burner and they will turn it on for you and will show you how to turn it up or down in case it starts to boil too much um, there is where you can see the control on the video um, and then after you're done cooking you spoon it out into your own separate soup bowl here is where you can see my soup cooking um, me putting in the ingredients and again there's the controllers on the soup Okay, now that the soups are almost done, we decided to work on the middle, which is the Korean barbecue part. Um, what they do is, when you first sit down, they put a temperature on on the end of your table. So we just started with the garlic chicken. Uh, we added some onion and for both of us. And then... I like pineapple, so I. you'll see in the video where he moves the chicken in the middle so I can cook my pineapple, and we also added broccoli. Now, the good thing about this place is they have a ventilation that works underneath, so it pulls in all the smoke under, so the restaurant isn't filled with smoke or anything, even though everybody's cooking at their table. that this is almost done I wanted to show you that you can make your own sauces to add to whatever you're cooking or to dip things in so that is a peanut sauce that we added to it and I also grabbed some fresh fruit off of this appetizer bar that they have I highly recommend making your own sauce for whatever you do all right guys here's my soup completely done like I said that's shrimp dumplings crab leg meat and mushrooms and a mushroom broth. And here is my plate of garlic chicken, broccoli, and pineapple slices covered in a peanut sauce that I made up at the appetizer bar. Alright guys, we're going for round two. It's garlic shrimp and Switch out your uh, plates here in the middle. That way you're not missing your meat and your seafood. I'll wait for that. Okay. First reaction of the trip? Yep. Okay. Good. <laughs> okay. And they make it so convenient for you. 
You just order right from your table. When you come, you're gonna start with your hot pot soup base, if you get the hot pot. And then, you just add your meat. If you want any type of meat. Now, there is one thing, there is a little bit of a difference in between the lunch and the dinner prices, but that is because there is some exclusive dinner items. And then you can just keep scrolling down. They have so many different options. And then, if you get past all of that, you start with the items for the actual barbecue which also has exclusive dinner items. Keep going in. Uh, those are beach mushrooms. Alright guys, so here it is all cooked in the K-pop sauce. Shrimp and beach mushrooms. B E E C H. <laughs> Very good. The sauce is amazing. Everything that we've had so far has been really good. Alright, guys, round three. We're doing pork belly and brisket. It looks amazing. This one I'm cooking. I'm cooking the pork belly. Melissa just got done cooking the uh, beef. Everything is so good here. It's definitely a come back and do again type of restaurant. <laughs> Especially for the price. This is an all you can eat restaurant. For lunchtime, it's $19.99 a person. Uh, but if you do both, the barbecue and the hot pot, it's an extra $5. So then for dinner, it's is another five dollars on top of that per person so it's $25.99 plus the extra five dollars to do both sides and they even give you a guide on how to cook everything the soup here is really good too Alright guys, I'm gonna try something really spicy from here at the K-Pop. So if it comes out like that though, that you just stick it on the grill. Probably give it a try. See how bad I burn my mouth on this. So I just got done cooking this really spicy, spicy. Let's see how spicy it is. It's really good. It's not really that spicy at all. That's good. Maybe it'll sneak up on you. <laughs> Maybe. Melissa, you want to try a bite? Alright guys, time for some dessert. Looks like some chocolate cake and mousse. <laughs> this is the only dessert option though. And it is on the appetizer bar. 